is going to be based on the Rust FPS. I'm going to try to help you guys with low NPCs, getting a bit more FPS out, out of your uh, CPUs and GPUs basically. So my PC at the minute, I'll show you my specs. So the first thing to do anyways is to right click anywhere on your desktop. The video control panels. Wait for that to load up, there you go. And then it be onto this. Put that to performance always, okay? Not quality, if, you, if it's on quality and you put it down to performance, you know it's a big difference. And then put use advanced 3D settings, which is here. Now these are all my 3D settings, these are really important to have. So as you can see, off, 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 on. Gamma correction. Off, none and off, we go down. We're gonna have GPUs, all factors off, smoothness off, latency mode, so new setting added in, make sure to turn that on. Multi frame sampled AA off, open rendering GPU, which is from a 1050Ti. Pre, uh, prefer max performance, so your power management mode, make sure that's to max. Shader catch on, uh, texture filtering on. Texture filter and allow high performance of quality. Um, optimization on. Threaded on. Triple buffering off. Off, off. And then this is basically virtual reality pre render frames. So it's the amount of frames that your CPU pre, -render, pre renders before your GPU. So depending if you have a better CPU or a GPU, it works that way really. So how many frames you want to do? So if you've got like a really bad GPU but a better CPU and a bust this up to like 4, that's the max it go up to is 4. If you have a better GPU than a CPU, you want to put this on like 1 or 2. And then there are the settings for um, manage 3D settings anyways for my control panel. If they don't work for you and you do find problems, just press restore and then you're back to normal. So now we've done that, I've got 8GB RAM so it's obviously not enough for um, rust it's supposed to be not enough and it will give, get you problems if you ain't got 16 gigabytes or 10 gigs or more so I downloaded this little program here called Henry plus plus I will try to get a link in the description so I've only got 8, gig, 8 gigabytes 1300 megahertz this cleans your, C, uh, your uh, RAM so as you can see my RAM's on 20% 37.4 it's really really low and then boom 16 1 37 it, it hasn't gone down much obviously because it's got to be a bare minimal but this goes up to maybe 80 90 and i'll just constantly clean it really helps with my frames in rust and even if you're in rust just tab double click that you can do it like that or even you can clean every 9 20 minutes an hour and it'll clean automatically for you really good program really good yeah really good app and then just to make sure your pc is clean you've got a bunch of junk download cc clean i'll try to get the link for that as well this basically cleans all your files makes your pc run smoother but let's move on to the rust settings now these are really important settings so we're going to go on to so basically what i'm going to say is i've got an i5 to 500k it's only 3.3 gigahertz i have a 1050 ti and 8 gigabyte ram so not the best pc but in the uk and i average over 100 fps and in normal games i average 77 to 90 or 70 to 90 so these are my settings that i have that work really well for me so vice sync gives it off capped at 100 graphics graphic quality at three i don't go any high i ain't really messed about with it i don't go any lower i don't go to two so it looks horrible shader quality zero no cassades shadow lights off water quality off water reflection off world reflection off so like zero zero shader level max draw distance max really important Shader distance 50, um, filtering 1, mapping 0, grass placement on, mesh quality I have 0, object quality I have 50, tree quality is max, I don't like blurry trees and stuff, uh, max tree meshes is at 100, and then for the last 3 is 0, 0, 0. So that's my graphics quality, this will make a difference I'm sure of it unless you're already pushing your CPU or GPU to its limits this should definitely help you image effects is also very important so you want FXAA at the top depth of uh, field off uh, off off 
off, 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 all the way down to sharp and turn sharpen on. I always have sharpen on and then off for the last one as well. And then we want to do is go into experiment experimental. Let's see if you pronounce it, geez. Um off, 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 all off. So these are my settings. Field of view max as well. And um max gibbs zero before i forget to add that make sure that is at zero broken objects or like we see a base decaying and stuff you don't want your fps drops because of that if you have that up to max you're gonna notice big difference big fps starts and stuff but these are my settings i'm sure they'll get you better settings in rust like i say unless you're already obviously like maxing out your pc as it is let me know though if it does get you better fps it should do I will be doing Rust from now on on this channel, it's where you do see Fortnite content, I used to play Fortnite. I will be doing just Rust content from now on. Rust builds, Rust raids, PvP and stuff like that. So if you do enjoy that content guys, make sure you do like and subscribe and turn that bell on.